Jennifer Shagel, and I um, have been involved with Girls in the Know uh, as a speaker for them, and as well worked on some a variety of uh, curriculum and workshops and camps for Girls in the Know. Uh, as far as this project has gone, which has been very exciting over the last six months, I have been involved with um, the lesson components, the development of the curriculum, and in particular, uh, emphasizing the peer mentor training side. As Cindy um, and Gina had mentioned, we really wanted to empower the girls to deliver the messages. So the peer mentors are high school age girls, and they go through our uh, mentor training program and become certified girls in the know uh, Marshall mentors. Okay. Um, so we have the opportunity, our team, um, this spring, uh, to do three different pilots. We piloted in three different districts. We uh, worked in middle schools in all of them, sixth through eighth grade uh, students. We were in the Lindbergh School District, the Ledoux School District, and the Special School, school District of St. Louis County. Um, and the settings were a little bit different in each um, location. So um, in one setting, we had, um, it was during the day, and it was in a classroom setting. One of the uh, situations, we did an after school program. And then the third situation was in, uh, during the day, it was uh, for special needs students, and it was a one-on-one -on -one situation, which was really cool. It was one peer mentor to a participant. So we were kind of had a variety of, of pilots going on. Uh, when we began, um, so far we have trained 25 different mentors about, um, and they helped us in these different settings. Um, the training, in general, there are five cornerstones and then an introduction lesson. For the mini pilot, we did the introduction lesson and the empathy cornerstone. So we went through training with these mentors in that setting, uh, and we went to their school. So we went on site and trained at the schools and met with the girls. It was about two hours. Um, and we included a variety of modalities when we um, did the training, kind of icebreaker things, getting to know you. Uh, we used videos. Uh, one of the videos you didn't get to see, we kind of, um, we used that to show them. Uh, we shared experiences together. Uh, so there was a lot of different ways we tried to connect with um, teaching these mentors. Uh, we did an introduction to Marshall's story for them, like I said, with that video. And then we all read the book, too. So we read the book to them since they will be doing that in their um, lesson when they work with the participants. What we thought was really important <laughs> under this developing, it, um, the understanding, is that it was more uh, empowerful, we thought, for the girls to really understand um, the importance and get a real grasp and connection to empathy, kind of the definition of empathy and understanding that before we just jumped into here's the lesson plan of empathy. <laughs> So we really want to make sure that we connect with the girls on experiences they have had, what it you know what it means, if you know how they've shown empathy, how they can express empathy, and really kind of get them to understand what that means and how powerful uh, that is in relating to people. Then we go through reviewing all the materials. So um, we you know read the book. We uh, have the lesson plans. We have a little uh, messages from Marshall notebook we kind of go over that the participants can kind of fill in as we go. Um, we talk about different roles and responsibilities of the mentors uh, through this program. Uh, and we talk to them about the different video clips we're going to show and things like that. Uh, we do a lot of role play because we think that's important for them to understand how to handle uh, different you know, difficult participants maybe in the classroom setting. Uh, and we like them to kind of be able to practice also the lesson plan once we go through that lesson plan. And Charlotte's gonna talk a little bit more about the uh, lesson components, so you'll know a little bit more about that part. Um, so then when we get to the expected outcomes that we um, had for the mentors, um, you know, overall, we. There were some things that we wanted to make sure to refer to with the um, English language arts, the Common Core standards, 
her reading and writing, um, the listening and speaking and implementing the Marshall Mentor lesson plans for younger peers as the content activities parallel these standards. We also wanted to really develop and strengthen their le leadership skills as well as their um, you know, college readiness skills. We thought that that was um, really important as well. And as we were working with them, uh, we really realized that girls at this stage, in their psychosocial developmental stage, are really trying to sort of figure out, you know, who am I, um, what can I be, you know, and so we feel like this peer mentoring piece and the, the training and teaching of the peer mentor mentoring piece allows them um, to really find that sense of self and connect with their sense of self, build confidence, uh, social skills, and really kind of uh, see what they can contribute to society. Okay, so we want the outcomes. Um, we had we're really, we were really pleased with those outcomes. Um, as you can see here, um, we so what we did is we gave them a survey beforehand and then had them take one after they went through the program and taught the lessons. And as you can see, originally 84% understood the meaning and then 93% of the mentors uh, thought they developed a more deeper understanding and connection to empathy. 90% uh, were inspired to take action and be more empathetic in their own lives. And 93% of the girls could accurately identify historical models of empathy, and 90% of them said they acquired new learning of historical and cultural models of empathy. So we were really pleased with a lot of the outcomes that came from this. Um, there was also 71% um, of the mentors met expectations for the reading fiction and nonfiction text. 100% of the men mentors um, indicated that they felt that the variety, and this you'll hear more about this, the lesson components, because we have a variety of things we do in the lessons that really help um, give a deeper meaning to the cornerstone. Um, and 100% of the mentors felt that by participating in this program that they have improved their college and career readiness skills. So that is very exciting to hear as well. So we were pleased with um, the outcome so far. Uh, some of the comments, which I'm going to just kind of kind of leave up here because we have some of the um, mentors here that are going to kind of speak to that a little bit um, themselves. 